kids. So today for our story time, I have something special for you. So here's a picture of my grandpa. His name was Slavik. And when I was a little girl, he used to tell me lots and lots of good stories. And one of the stories he told me was about the white mitten. So when Slavik was five years old, like you logic, he asked his grandma to knit him white mittens. But his grandma said, no Slavik, I cannot knit you white mittens. If you lose them in the snow, you won't be able to find them. I'll knit you blue mittens like the sky. But Slavik said, no grandma, please, please, please. Can you knit me white mittens like the snow? So grandma said, all right, I'll knit you white mittens like the snow. When she was done, she gave mittens to Slavik and Slavik put them on very quickly and wanted to go outside and play in the snow. He asked his mom if he could go close to the house in the forest and his mom said, all right, but I'll come with you. So they both went into the forest and they started playing in the snow. They made snowballs and played with each other and they also made a big, big snowman and they had so much fun together. But it started getting dark. So he, his mom said, okay, Slavik, it's time to go home. And they went home, and as they went home, reached home, Slavik discovered that he was missing one mitten. He was so sad, he wanted to cry. He asked his mom if they could go back to the forest and look for it. But his mom said, you know, Slavik, it's very dark outside. How about we'll look for it tomorrow? And Slavik was sad, but he said, all right, mom, we'll look for it tomorrow. And he went to sleep. While he was sleeping, the mitten was lying in the snow in the forest. And you know who lives in the forest? Yes, different animals. So the first, a little tiny mouse, came to the mitten and decided to run in. She sat down in the mitten and she discovered it was very warm and cozy. As she was sitting there, she heard a knock from outside and a voice. Hello, who lives in the mitten? And the mouse replied, crunch, crunch the mouse. And who is there? Hop, hop the frog. Could I come in? And the mouse said, okay, come on in. And so there were two of them sitting in the mitten. As, and as they were sitting, they heard another knock. Hello, who lives in the mitten? And they said, crunch, crunch the mouse, hop, hop the frog. And who is there? It's me, fleet, fleet the rabbit. Can I come in? And they said, okay. So now there were three of them there. And as they're sitting nice and cozy in the mitten, they heard another knock. Hello, who is there? Who lives in the mitten? They replied, crunch, crunch the mouse, hop, hop the frog, fleet, fleet the rabbit. And who is there? Woof, woof, the wolf. Can I come in? And they said, okay. So now there were four of them there. And as they were sitting in the mitten, nice and cozy, they heard another knock. Hello, who lives in the mitten? And they replied, crunch, crunch the mouse, hop, hop the frog, fleet, fleet the rabbit, woof, woof the wolf. And who is there? And... The voice replied, it's me, Sneaky Tricky the fox. Can I come in? And they said, all right, come on in. So now there were five animals in the mitten. It became a little tight in the mitten, not a lot of room to move. So there were five of them. And as they were sitting there, there was another knock. And a deep voice, 
Hello, who lives in the mitten? And they reply, Crunch, crunch the mouse, hop, hop the frog, feet, fleet, fleet the rabbit, woof, woof the wolf, sneaky, tricky fox, and who is there? Wrong be, wrong be the bear. Can I come in? They looked around. There was not enough room, but maybe for one more. And they said, come on in. So now there were six of them. And it was getting pretty tight in the mitten. And as they were sitting there, they heard another knock. And the voice. Hello, who lives in the mitten? And they replied, crunch, crunch the mouse, hop, hop the frog, fleet, fleet the rabbit, woof, woof the wolf, sneaky, tricky fox, and rumpy, rumpy the bear. And who's there? Roar, roar the boar. And they said, okay. I guess you can squeeze in. So the boar tried to squeeze into the mitten, but it was so tight. And as he squeezed in, his, his tail was outside and his paw was outside. There was not enough room. Nobody could move. It was so tight. They couldn't scratch their noses or move their paws. So, so they sat there for a while. And then animals started moving. And as they started moving, the mitten ripped apart. And they all ran into the forest. In the morning, Slavik asked his mom if he could go to the forest and look for his mitten. And his mom said, all right. And he went into the forest and started looking for the mitten. They couldn't find it. It was really hard to find because the was covered in the snow and the mitten was white. Finally, they started looking more and more and they found little pieces of the mitten. So Slavi gathered it together. He was very sad it was ripped apart, but he took it to his grandma and said, Grandma, I'm sorry, I wanted a white mitten. It was hard to find it in the snow, like you said, but could you please, please knit me another one? And grandma said, all right, it's okay. I'm going to knit you another mitten, but I'm not going to knit you, knit you white mittens. I'm going to knit you blue mittens like the sky. Is it okay? And Slavik said, yes, Grandma. So Grandma knit him blue mittens. So when my grandfather used to tell me the story, he always finished with these words in Ukrainian. Ось і а хто слухав, молодець. And would give me a high five. Okay, so in English it's now it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for listening.